Hi, this is Dojo the Art. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and today I'm drawing um, Jonathan Ken from DC Comics for a prize for my um, contest on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna give you the link in and out. There's gonna be lots of pauses in this video because there's a lot of stuff going on. And I am not the best at editing videos yet. <laughs> it's a long process and I don't have a very good video editor. Um, I tried to kind of show like how I map out the face, but you know, I don't know how these videos will turn out. Um, that's pretty much how I map out the face. And I explain how if you lower the eyes on a character, it makes them look younger because Babies have big foreheads and their eyes look really big, and so if you lower all that, um, it just makes them look younger and cuter. Um, that's what I do for chibis, I just lower the eyes. Um, so, for John, this piece was really hard. I don't know why, but his face did not want to work. Um, his outfit didn't want to work. Um, I looked up some pictures by Jorge Jimenez. Um, and I noticed that he draws him in jackets and uh, sweaters, but flannel also works for him because, you know, farm boy. <laughs> um, yeah, hands didn't want to work either. Um, I didn't like this outfit. I'm gonna erase it in a moment. Um, I tried out a new jacket. Um, but I didn't want to do this one. Cause it didn't look very good and it was kind of based off one of my character's jackets that they used to wear and here's you know one of those breaks i was talking about <laughs> for sweaters i just kind of stopped trying to make the sleeves look realistic and went more with a rounder shape um it just is more stylized, I guess, is what I go for. <laughs> um, yeah. I just copy and pasted the hands on these ones and I'll erase these and make another hand and I'll just copy that one also. Uh, I think maybe my. I didn't plan out the drawing well enough and so that's why I had such a hard time because I didn't spend enough time in the sketching stage and so it became difficult to figure out where everything went and you know I try a lot of stuff to try and get this fixed to work but that's what happens when you don't plan out your drawings well enough that's why you just spend more time in the sketching stage, which I didn't do. So I go through this drawing a lot, fixing up little things, and fixing those little things that I messed up. <laughs> the sleeves were like the only thing the sleeves in the sweater after this, like right there, that's like, it started working after that, at least the sweater did. Everything else was giving me a hard time. And I recently did a commission without naming any of my layers, and I could not find anything, and it was very detailed, and so I am going to start naming my layers so I can actually find stuff and that will make things so much easier. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what his eye color was. I was pretty sure they were blue and I was right. In the end they were probably way too light of blue that I made them, but that's fine. Yeah, here's the hand. It just <laughs> didn't want to work. And so I just got rid of the fingers and redrew them. And it went much better. And, you know, copy and paste, it works. <laughs> and see, I'd go back to the head again because something wasn't working. 
you know, I use those uh, guidelines that I typically use for faces. Or, you know, the ones I revert back to when something's going wrong. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, his hair as well, at this point, was just... Very... What's the word? It was just way too inconsistent and looking weird. It looked like he hadn't had a haircut in a while and he tried <laughs> to cut his own hair and failed miserably. And I was at difficulty with John's hair after not drawing him for a long time. It just... I think it's just the way I go about it. He's got, you know, that long hair that teenage boys sometimes have. Um, I like to include the little, you know, the little twirly hair, like Superman. And time for Azure. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go through a bit and fix up stuff. And the way I did the lines in this picture, I really, I really, really like it. Um, I left, <laughs> I left the red color in a lot of places. And there's just this subtle detail on the sweater I really like also. Nothing very drastic, just I really like the little details on the clothes. And so adding that to this drawing, I think it was, it was really good. I really like it. <laughs> um, that thing for the sweater there, the little collar hoodie area, is way too low. For backgrounds, um, I, I kind of go for a contrary color-ish. Um, right here, I'm using Multiply, and I've learned <laughs> that if you use Multiply to shade, if you fill the background in with that multiply color, you won't have to um, turn your layer back to normal in order to get the color back. Or you can have a color history on the side. But I spent a lot of times on lots of other drawings before searching for that one color because I didn't I didn't like the little dot that you'd have to like search around the, the image for. And so if you just fill in the background on a separate layer, you can just grab the color from the back. And that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I do now. For shadows, um, since last year, I think around the same time as now, I started using hard and soft shadows. And I think it really adds to the, the drawing. So the further away the light source is, and the light source, or yeah, the light source, <laughs> um, the closer the object is that's casting the shadow, the harder the shadow is going to be. So if you have something casting a shadow but it's far away, it's going to create a, shock, a soft shadow. And if it's closer to whatever it's casting a shadow on, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a hard, uh, sharp shadow. And I think that it really adds to the drawing. I also use um, the airbrush, like a really big, I make it really big and I just kind of um, color in a bit to create like this atmospheric shadow. So like wherever the light is, I'll go on the opposite side and it'll just kind of create an atmospheric <laughs> effect to it. Um, for eyes, I didn't even bother putting in like the sclerae, the white part. I just kept that because it's kind of like Bruce Tim. Um, his Superman is kind of like that. I haven't done the um, like this, the shinies, the shine on his hair, <laughs> like um, on characters like this for a long time. I thought it looked really nice. Um, I used an orange, um, and the. Shi shines, whatever, the shine shouldn't be that hard, but it's stylized, so that's why it's like that. Um, yeah. 
And then I really like how he did his glasses. And I think that's pretty much it for this drawing. I erase and add a little bit more to try and, um, what's the word? It was kind of too flat there, so I added some stuff to add to it. And then I, um, on the sleeves I erased some of the shadows to create a kind of balanced light. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching. <laughs>